Hi there, I'm going to show you how to make some fringe, tassels, and pom-poms. So let's start with fringe. You're going to decide how long you want your fringe to be. So if I want my fringe to be maybe six inches long, I'm going to double that and cut a piece that is 12 inches long. So I'm going to fold that 12 inch long piece in half and I'm going to thread it through two strands of my warp. Then I'm going to pull the center down into a U shape. And I'm going to put each end into that U shape. One on the right, one on the left. Okay. And then I'm going to pull it like that. Okay, so I have some fringe there. And I can do that across the row as long as I like. Let's try it one more time. So you strung the yarn under two strands of your warp. Pull the center piece down into a U. Put each end of the strand into the U. Hold the ends and pull, pull, pull. All right. So if you do a bunch of these, you'll get a fringe. Now if you want a tassel, you're going to need a few more strands. So I'm going to cut, I'm going to demonstrate with three strands this time. I'll uh, start over here, go under two. Try to keep it all together as you're working. Try to keep it all even. Can you pull this maybe up and then down? Okay, and then I'm going to take these three them in just like the last ones. Take these three. Put them in just like the last ones. All right, I'm going to pull. And there I have a tassel. So this is a six strand tassel. Now if I want an even thicker tassel, I'm going to use one, two, two, four, six strands. Try to keep it all together. Be very careful. Smooth it all out. Keep it all even. shape. Something was not right here. Oh, really? I've got to get that. Okay, there we go. That's correct. Put all of the right hand strands in there. All of the left hand strands in here. Pull it all. down. OK, 
carefully. It's not as easy as the other ones. And there you have another larger tassel. Okay, and this is how to make a pom-pom. You have your little pom-pom template and you're going to cut a length of yarn, maybe about a foot long. Put your yarn through this slot like this. All right. Then you're going to take a skein of yarn and begin to wrap your wrap yarn around the opposite way. Okay, so wrap and wrap. Okay, keep letting these ends separate, stay separate from the rest of it. Going and going. All right, so maybe about this thick. Okay. So when you're finished winding your yarn around your pom-pom template, you're going to just cut it off. And remember these two ends we left loose. We're going to take those two ends and we're going to tie them together <clears throat> as tight as we can and you might want to ask someone to uh, put their finger there to help you tie it I'll do the best I can without any help ah, there we go okay and then you want to just slip it off. And tie another knot. See if you can get it even tighter. And you're going to leave these ends long like this you're not going to cut these off because with these ends you'll be able to tie your pom-pom to something else to whatever you want to tie it to so leave these hanging right and now you have these loops here that you want to cut in half so i'm going to go carefully in and cut these loops in half Turn it over and do the other side.
There will be layers of loops. Just be patient and careful. That wasn't good. Okay, once your uh, loops are all cut, your pom-pom's gonna need a haircut. So like this one, he's got a lot of hair. <laughs> it's called hair, all right. So you're gonna make some yarn confetti here. So slowly cut it. Don't hack at it, just slowly turn it around and cut it where it sticks out too much and um, like I said, keep these guys, these uh, strands separate, but you want it now to look like a ball. So start trimming it so that it looks like a ball. It might take a while if you do it carefully. Some areas will need more of a trim than other areas. So when you're finished winding your yarn around your pom-pom template, there it is. off and remember these two ends we left loose we're going to take those two ends and we're going to tie them together <clears throat> as tight as we can and you might want to ask someone to uh, put their finger there to help you tie it I'll do the best I can. Without any help. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, and then you want to just slip it off. And tie another knot. Let's see if you can get it even tighter. And you're going to leave these ends long like this. You're not going to cut these off because with these ends, you'll be able to tie your pom-pom to something else, to whatever you want to tie it to. So leave these hanging, right? And now you have these loops here that you want to cut in half. So I'm going to go carefully in and cut these loops in half. Turn it over and do the other side. There will be layers of loops. Be patient and careful. That wasn't good. 
good. Okay, once your uh, loops are all cut, your pom pom's gonna need a haircut. So, like this one, he's got a lot of hair. <laughs> Call it hair. All right, so you're gonna make some yarn confetti here. So, slowly cut it. Don't hack at it, just slowly turn it around and cut it where it sticks out too much. And um, like I said, keep these guys, these uh, strands separate. But you want it now to look like a ball. So start trimming it so that it looks like a ball. Some gaps here. I'm going to fill those gaps with the next patch or stripe of yarn that we're going to weave in. So we have this gap here. weave into the next gap. Oops. 
Okay, so I can, I hope you can see how I've interlocked the left and right sides. the way I did. And I'm just going to pull this all together. So that they don't separate. Like I said, if they were completely separated, you would have a patch over here and a patch over here and a big hole in the middle. So you have to do it this way. Also, I can see I made a mistake in here. Oh well. I'd take that out. If this were my weaving, final weaving, I would take that out and fix it. 